When Zepto promises to deliver your groceries in 10 minutes, it's not just about logistics. It's about building a data stack that doesn't blink. Because behind the scenes are thousands of data points flowing across apps, warehouses, delivery nodes, and decision engines in milliseconds. And to power that, Zepto had to tear down its legacy data system and build a new one from scratch. Want to know all about the tech that goes behind Zepto to ensure your order reaches on time despite navigating through millions of customer requests? We spoke to Abhinav Raghuvanshi, Associate Director Data at Zepto at India's largest data engineering summit, DES 2025. And I'm going to talk all about it on this episode of Point Break. delivery of users or basically the products within 10 minutes. Uh, it's a very complex model wherein uh, what we want to do is basically uh, serve all the data and all the product needs uh, of all the user base uh, so that you don't need to wait for a longer period of time. For example, if I want, let's say, a Maggie packet, right? I do not want to wait for a day when the Maggie packet arrives and I want to serve it as quickly as possible. So behind the scene, a lot of data crunching happens and that is being powered by the data platform at Zepto. In its early days, Zepto's data stack ran on Amazon Redshift. A handful of engineers set it up using Hevo as the ETL tool and a single warehouse instance. But as the order volumes grew, the setup began to falter. Queries slowed down and data often arrived a full day late, what the team called D-1 data. Analysts found themselves reacting to yesterday's problems unable to assess what was happening in real time. And because compute and storage weren't separated, a heavy query by one team could stall the entire system, delaying critical dashboards and reports for everyone else. With no ability to scale compute independently and no real-time visibility, Redshift was no longer viable. Zepto then transitioned to a lake house architecture built on Delta Lake using Amazon S3 as the storage layer and Databricks for processing. The new system captures change data, CDC, from all operational databases using Debezium, which streams it into Kafka in Avro format. Avro ensures schema consistency, while Kafka Connect pushes the data to S3 avoiding the need to burn compute cycles unnecessarily. Once the data lands in S3, it flows through Zepto's bronze, silver, gold model. The bronze layer holds raw logs and time series data. The silver layer contains cleaned and de-identified data sets used by analysts and data scientists. The gold layer serves business-ready reports and ML features. All of this is orchestrated through Airflow, with Spark and Databricks powering the pipeline behind the scenes. But here's the nuance. Not all data has to move at lightning speed. Zepto distinguishes between two types of latency, and this shapes how their entire system is designed. There are two kinds of latencies that people generally talk about, right? One is the freshness of the data, wherein data, as soon as the data is basically orders placed on an app, is it available for reporting or basic analysis of that is being done, right? That is one part. Two is how quick your queries run, right? Uh, because let's say if I'm, though my data is available, but if I'm not able to run the query and not able to extract some information out of it in real time kind of thing, that does not make sense, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that is when we have a mix of both the worlds, right? Because you cannot obviously have the data coming in real time and, ser and serving also happening in real time. We have prioritized some of the metrics that are absolutely necessary for the business. Those we serve in real time and in just in real time, rest we prefer to have that in a latency of 15 minute, one hour, depending upon the criticality of the metric that it goes to serve. So it's a balance of uh, what we want to serve. If it is a business critical kind of P0 metrics, we serve it to real time ingestion and serving. Uh, whereas if it is not a P0 metric, we serve it as a different latency scale. What you heard is strategic tiering that allows Zepto to deliver real time only where it truly matters without overwhelming the system or spiraling compute costs. All right, so how does it function inside? Zepto supports over 300 analysts, product managers, operations teams, and control tower staff. Most of them aren't expected to write Spark code and they don't have to. 
the company built an in-house, no-code, low-code ETL framework that allows users to write simple SQL queries, define transformations, and schedule their own data workflows. This framework is tightly integrated with Airflow and Databricks, giving users autonomy without sacrificing controls. Teams can refresh their dashboards or reports when they need to without waiting on the data engineering team. But scale has a price, and Zepto manages it using budget guardrails and cost observability. Each business function has a predefined compute budget on Databricks. Tags and Unity catalog handle access control and job level tracking. Alerts are triggered when thresholds are breached, allowing teams to adjust their usage in real time. Zepto also enforces governance rules on data retention and job runtimes. Unless there's a compelling use case, most data jobs are capped at 30 to 60 days of history. These practices keep compute costs down while ensuring high job performance. All right, so can lakehouses do everything? For most analytics workloads, the lakehouse architecture works just fine. But what happens when an application needs metrics with sub-second latency? This is where S3 struggles and where Zepto introduces a parallel system. For mission-critical real-time reporting, Zepto uses ClickHouse, a high-performance OLAP engine designed for ultra-fast querying. Real-time data flows from operational systems into Apache Flink, where it's enriched and processed, and then into ClickHouse in a denormalized format. This architecture allows Zepto to serve P0 business metrics, things like order drops, traffic spikes, or payment failures in milliseconds. But the use of real-time doesn't stop at business dashboards. Zepto also monitors the delivery chain using IoT data from trucks, cold storage units, and dark stores. Metrics like temperature, location, and inventory health are streamed into ClickHouse and visualized in real time. This helps the team ensure that ice cream doesn't melt in transit or that a delivery truck isn't delayed without notice. These aren't nice to haves. Zepto runs a lot of experiments too. A-B tests, price tweaks, and UI changes. But when something breaks, they need to know instantly. That's where merge tree engines in ClickHouse come into play. Using replicated and replacing merge trees, Zepto ensures data availability across nodes and avoids duplication. These engines are optimized for logs and event data, which are central to understanding user behavior and system performance at scale. Data part in terms of the privacy, uh, the amount, again, dealing with vast amounts of data, uh, how is that met in Zepto? Uh, we encrypt our own data, right? So at Zepto at least, right? Uh, we take it very, very strongly in terms of what data uh, we are capturing, how do we want to store and all those things. We encrypt all the data that we have. Uh, it is tokenized, anonymized, everything is done. Uh, the users never get access to a PI data kind of thing. Uh, uh, it always requires multi-level approvals, uh, right? Uh, without that, uh, nobody kind of have access to that data. Zepto's platform isn't just built for speed. It's built for precision at scale. Every metric, every transformation, every pipeline is part of a larger orchestration, one where timing, cost, and quality must be balanced every single day. In a business where seconds impact customer satisfaction, the margin for error is razor thin. And that's the real math behind a 10-minute delivery. It's not just logistics, it's latency. It's not just speed, it's systems thinking, engineered for pressure. Well, that's all for this episode of Point Break. I'll be back with more insights and deep dives into the tech powering your everyday life. Until then, stay sharp, stay curious. Think AI, think AIM.